Pagsalamat Panginoon sa iyong pula Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili, aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto, handa kami On this day, the 28th of September, with the whole church, we celebrate the memorial of St. Lorenzo Ruiz of Manila and his companions, martyrs. Lorenzo Ruiz was born in Binondo, Manila, between 1600 and 1610, of a Chinese father and a Filipina mother, both Christians. Growing up, he served as an altar boy and was a member of the Confradia del Santissimo Rosario. After being accused of being involved in a criminal case, he escaped to Japan with Dominican missionaries. With five others, he was tortured to death from September 27 to 29, 1637 in Nagasaki. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz is the first Filipino to be canonized. Saint Lorenzo was a man of sol solid faith and devotion to the Lord. But as a human, he was also prone to temptation. In the time of desperation, he asked the interpreter, I would like to know if by apostatizing, they will spare my life. But moments late after, we see renewal in his faith. He did not feel of doubt nor fear, 
for the only thing he now thought of was to die lovingly for his God. As one family, may we carry on the challenge of reawakening from temptation and open our hearts to sacrifice and to give for the Lord. As one family, let us celebrate the Holy Eucharist, the sacrament of love, with the Reverend Father Francis Joel Cruz from the minor basilica and parish of the La Purissima Concepcion, Santa Maria Bulacan. Please all rise and join in the singing of the opening hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, brothers, and sisters, as we celebrate the memorial of San Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions, let us acknowledge the grace that we may share the love of God through our actions. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Lord God, the same perseverance shown by your martyr, St. Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions, in serving you and their neighbor, 
since those persecuted for the sake of righteousness are blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the book of Sirach. My child, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for trial. Be sincere of heart and steadfast, and do not be impetuous in time of adversity. Cling to him, do not leave him, and you may prosper in your last days. Accept whatever happens to you. In periods of humiliation, be patient. For in fire, gold is tested, and the chosen in the crucible of humiliation. Trust in God, and he will help you. Make your ways straight and hope in him. You that fear the Lord, wait for his, for, for his mercy. Do not stray lest you fall. You that fear the Lord, trust in him and your reward will not be lost. You that fear the Lord, hope for good things, for lasting joy and mercy. Consider the generations long past and see. Has anyone trusted in the Lord and been disappointed? Has anyone persevered in his fear and been forsake, forsaken? Has anyone called upon him and been ignored? For the Lord is compassionate and merciful, forgives sins and saves in time of trouble. Woe to timid hearts and drooping hands, to the sinner who walks a double path. Woe to the, woe to the faint of heart, for they do not trust and therefore have no shelter. Woe to you that have lost hope. What will you do at the Lord's visitation? Those who fear the Lord do not disobey his words. Those who love him keep his ways. Those who fear the Lord seek to please him. Those who love him are filled with his law. Those who fear the Lord prepare their hearts and humble themselves before him. Let us fall into the hands of the Lord and not to the hands of mortal. For equal of his majesty is his mercy, and equal to his name are his works. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Dear in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his devoted. I love the Lord who listened to my voice in supplication, who turned an ear to me on the day I called. Dear in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his devoted. I was caught by the cords of death. The snares of the all has seized me. I feel agony and dread. Dear in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his devoted. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. Dear in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his devoted. The Lord protects the simple. I was helpless, but he saved me. Return my soul to your rest. The Lord has been very good to you. Dear in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his devoted. The Lord protects the simple. I was helpless, but he saved me. Return my soul to your rest. The Lord has been very good to you. Dear in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his devoted. Please all stand for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel.
Come to me, all of you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you or persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. To the sister servants of the Holy Spirit, Malolos Community, our administrative officer, Sister Corazon Guillet, SSPS, our acting principal, Miss Maria Agustina de la Cruz, a pleasant morning to every one of you. In today's readings, especially pertaining our today's gospel, the theme is discipleship. Ang tema pong magandang pagnilayan natin ngayon ay patungkol sa pagsunod sa Diyos. Ngayon ding ipinagdiriwang natin at ginugunita ang kapistahan ni San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pag sinabi bang discipleship, what do we mean when we say discipleship? The word discipleship comes from the Latin word discipulare, meaning to follow. Sino ba ang ating sinusundan? Ang presidente ba? Maari. Ang gobyerno ba? Pwede. Ang ating mga guro o ang ating mga madre? Pwede. Pero higit sa lahat ng kung sino pa man ang dapat nating sundin, ang ipinupunto sa atin ng ating mga pagbasa, sundin ang Panginoong Diyos. Sa ating unang pagbasa, ang pagsusumpa, the reading of woes, at sa ating ebanghelyong narinig, the Beatitudes, ang pagpapala. Pagpapalain ang susunod sa Panginoon at lubos na ikanasusumpa ang buhay ng mga taong hindi na ayon sa pagsunod sa Diyos. Ang tanong po sa ating lahat, are we really following the Lord? Do we follow the Lord faithfully? According to one famous author, Boss Sanchez, there are three kinds of following, of discipleship, when we speak of the word discipleship. K-D-B. Pagsunod na may kondisyon, K. Pagsunod na di buo, D. At pagsunod na buo, B. K, D, B. May kondisyon, di buo, at buo. 
first point, pagsunod na may condition. This is called conditional following or conditional discipleship. When we speak of this, we only follow through certain conditions. What do I mean by this? Sumusunod lang tayo kung. Ito yung pagsunod na may kung. For example, a-attend lang ako ng banal na misa kung siya ang pari na magpe-preside ng misa. A-attend lang ako ng banal na misa kung darating ang aking mga superiors. Mag-aaral lang ako kung sasabihan ako ng magulang ko. Pagsunod na may condition. This is a dangerous discipleship kind of discipleship because you only follow through certain factors that are happening around you. Kung may condition lang, saka ako susunod. Ang kagustuhan ko lang dapat ang masunod, kaya ako susunod. This is a dangerous uh, discipleship because you choose your own path rather than the path of God. Conditional discipleship. Second is pagsunod na hindi buo. Half-hearted discipleship. Ibig sabihin, hati ang yung atensyon. Hindi buo. Kagaya nga sa, sa sinasaad, pagsunod na hindi buo. What do I mean by this? I know we have experienced this kind of moments, especially during the Mass, when we attend the Holy Mass, but our minds, our thoughts are somehow flying. Lumilipad ang ating isipan. Kung, ano, kung saan nakafocus ang atensyon, hindi nakatuon ang atensyon sa ginaganap na banal na pagdiriwang. Ano ba ang kakainin mamayang lunch? Ano ba ang gagawin mamaya sa assignment? Ano ba ang aking papanoorin sa telebisyon? Ano ba ang susubaybayan ko mamayang hapon? Hindi nakatuon in the present situation. Rather, our minds are somehow flying o sa madaling sabi, lumilipad ang isipan. Pagsunod na di buo. You are there, but your spirit is not present. Second, thirdly, pagsunod na buo. This is the kind of discipleship that we must follow. What do I mean by this? Pagsunod na kumpleto, buong puso, buong kaluluwa, buong isipan. One good example here is St. Ignatius of Loyola. Kung napunta po kayo sa Ateneo, makikita niyo po ang estatwa ni San Ignacio de Loyola na nakaluhod pero hawak-hawak niya ang kanyang sandata, ang espada. Si San Ignacio de Loyola kasi ay isang sundalo. At nung panahong iyon, pag wala kang sandata, pag wala kang espada, parang wala lang, parang wala kang saysay na pagiging sundalo. Ngunit sa imahe na pinoportray sa estatwa ni San Ignacio, animoy, he is offering his himself, his total self of being a soldier to the Lord. Nakaluhod, pero nakalahad ang kamay. Ibinibigay ang buo niyang pagkatao kung ano ang meron siya para sa Panginoon. Complete discipleship. Full following. Total following to the Lord. Ang tanong po sa ating lahat, kamusta ba ang ating pagsunod sa Diyos? Is it conditional following? Nakabase sa kung ano ang aking kagustuhan? Is it half-hearted following or discipleship? Naririto, sumusunod, pero may alanganin, nag-aalangan, at hindi buo. Or is it a total kind of discipleship? A discipleship of the heart, of the mind, of the soul. My dear friends, also my dear students who are in this uh, live stream mass, let us ponder on this question. 
how are we as disciples of the Lord? Are we really following the Lord with our whole heart, whole mind, and whole spirit? There is this one story of a magician protestant. When I say magician protestant, he does not believe on God. And as magician, he has powers to do magic tricks. And one day, while he was traveling, there is this Bible who fell in front of him. Nakakita ng Biblia na nahulog sa kanyang harapan. Binuksan ng Biblia, binasa ang content nito, at sa kanyang puso at isipan, ang kanyang sinabi, Gusto kong maging kagaya ni Kristo. Tinanong niya ang, kanya, ang mga taong nakapalibot sa kanya, sa kanyang paligid, Papaano ko ba magagaya si Kristo? Ang sabi ng ilang tao, maging katoliko ka. Ang tanong nitong magician ay, Papaano ko magiging katoliko? Ang sabi ng ilan, magpabinyag ka. Kaya itong si magician ay naghanap ng pinakamaram, pinakamalapit na simbahan kung saan siya magpapabinyag. Ngunit, ang pinakamalapit na simbahan ay lalakarin pa ng kalayuan. Subalit, tiniis niya kahit anumang lakad na gagawin niya. Naglakad siya, sa kanyang paglalakad, nakakita siya sa gilid ng isang batang nanginginig sa gutom. Nabati niya sa kanyang isipan, nabasa ko sa Biblia, si Jesus nagpakain ng mga nagugutom nagparami ng tinapay. Dahil siya may kapangyarihan, kumuha siya ng tinapay, nilapit sa bata, binanggit ang magic words, abracadabra, sis, bumba, dumami ang tinapay at nakakain ang batang nagugutom. At at the back of his mind, he told himself, nagaya ko si Jesus. Naging kagaya ko ni Jesus. At naglakad pa siya sa kanyang paglalakbay patungo sa simbahan, nakakita siya ng isang lamay ng patay, a funeral. Mga babae nagiiyakan, siya'y nakiusyoso. What happened? Ano po ang nangyari? Sabi ng isang babae, napagbintangan po ito, natokhang po, hindi naman po nagdodroga, pero natokhang nakakaawa po. At naawa ang magician, nilapitan ang kabaong, narealize niya, nabasa niya sa Bible, si Jesus nagbuhay ng patay. At sinabi niya ang magic words, abracadabra, sis, bumba, biglang tumayo ang patay. At tumalikod siya, umalis, at the back of his mind, ang sabi niya sa kanyang sarili, Nagaya ko na si Jesus. At nakikita na niya, natatanaw na niyang simbahan. Subalit, ang simbahan na ito ay pinapalibutan ng ilog. Paano siya makakapunta? Narealize niya, nabasa niya sa Biblia, si Jesus nakapaglakad sa tubig. Tiningnan niya ang kanyang paa, Sinabi niya ang magic words, Abracadabra sis bumba. At siya'y nakapaglakad sa tubig. Pumasok na siya sa simbahan, sumigaw siya, Father, Father, handa na po akong maging katulad ni Kristo, magpapabinyag po ako. Nagtaka ang pari, dahil kabod-kabod siya'y magpapabinyag. Tinanong siya ng pari, Gusto mo maging kagaya ni Kristo? Nagawa mo ba ang kanyang mga ginagawa? Sumagot ang magician, Opo, Father, in fact, ang mga ginawa ni Jesus, ginaya ko na. Nagparami ng tinapay, nagbuhay ng patay, at nakapaglakad sa tubig. Nagtaka ang pari, Oo, nagawa mo nga yan, pero ginawa mo ba talaga ang ginawa ni Jesus? Sumagot ang magician, Ano po ang ibig niyong sabihin, Father, ang sabi ng pari, natuto ka bang magmahal? Natuto ka bang magbahagi? At higit sa lahat, 
natuto ka bang magpatawad sa mga nagkasala sa iyo? Itong si magician, tumalikod, bagsak ang muka, lumabas sa simbahan. Hindi niya kaya ang pinagagawa ng pari. Hindi niya kaya kung ano talaga ang ginawa ni Jesus. Nagtakwil ng sarili, naging mapagbigay sa iba, nagpatawad, nagmahal ng kapwa. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ganun po ang tunay na pagsunod sa Diyos. The total discipleship, complete following, magtakwil ka ng sarili. Forget yourself. Matuto kang magpatawad at magmahal ng iyong kapwa. At higit sa lahat, magbigay ka base sa kung ano ang kaya mong ibigay. That is a complete discipleship. At sa bandang huli, mapapalad tayo kung tayo susunod sa Diyos dahil ang pag ng Diyos ay nasa sa atin na. Huwag sanang humantong sa punto na ikasumpa tayo ng Panginoon dahil hindi kaaya-aya ang ating mga ginagawa sa buhay. And so, my dear friends, I want to repeat the quotation which I have told you in, in our recollection. YOLO, you only live once. Minsan lang tayong mabuhay sa mundo, kaya anong dapat nating gawin? Dapat gumawa na tayo ng tama at gumawa ng kabutihan. Nakatulad ni San Lorenzo Ruiz, inalay niya ang kanyang buhay sa Panginoon at nakapagsabi, Isang libo man ang aking buhay, sa Diyos ko lang iaalay. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father who sent His Son Jesus Christ to teach us how to be blessed and share a new life in His eternal glory. For every petition we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church and government leaders may unite and truly serve God's people with humility, dignity, honesty, and true charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our grade 5 pupils celebrating their feast day and recollection today may be strengthened and encouraged to share their time, talent, and skills as they are gifted to give. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our overseas Filipino workers may find, fitting the, find work fitting their dignity, be blessed with good health, strength, and courage to continue the work for their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us gathered today may fully understand our role to love and serve one another, especially in this time of the pandemic. To fully realize God's kingdom is truly present within us through self-giving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find comfort in God's love through those people who extend their love and care, and our brothers and sisters who died in faith may be welcomed into the light of God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, hear the prayers of your people. Pour your grace in our hearts that we may serve one another to manifest your kingdom in our midst. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the preparation of the gifts.
Pray, brethren, brothers, and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. As a sign of our respect to our Eucharistic prayer, we place our right hand on our left chest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lem remember, Lord, your church and spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, especially San Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
your right hand on your left chest. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot receive the Holy Communion, we offer this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. stand let us pray O God who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord amen Nagpapasalamat po ako sa pag-iimbita sa akin upang unat higit makapagdiwang ng banal na misa sa inyong lahat at makapag-preside at facilitate ng recollection ng mga bata. Isang kagalakan po sa akin, I am humbled and privileged to be part of today's celebration with all of you. Maraming salamat po. The Wait. Lord be with you. Respect. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Yeah.
On behalf of the HSAN community and the grade 5 pupils and teachers, we would like to thank Father Francis Joel Cruz, Francis Joel Cruz for being with us and gracing our momentous event. Again, thank you very much, Reverend Father Francis Joel Cruz.